In the 73 episode of the ASCP Tech News, we talk about the latest NVIDIA graphics card drivers, Jonesbo has a new Air CPU cooler, Cooler Master has a new half case and Corsair launches the all new 5000T RGB mid tower case. We start with NVIDIA and their latest graphics card drivers, now at version 5.11.79. This new driver brings out optimizations for plenty of video games such as Elder Ring, Grid Legends, Total War, Warhammer 3, Martha is Dead, Destiny 2 and it has added support for the NVIDIA Reflex technology in iRacing. In terms of fixes, there is plenty to talk about. An issue present in both Call of Duty Vanguard and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which would cause the games to display random corruptions or white or black screens, has been finally fixed. In Battlefield 2042, an issue which caused the game to display color flashes on the screen has been fixed as well. Corel Paint Shop Pro 11 was not able to launch properly, that one has been addressed. After disabling G-Sync on G-Sync compatible monitors and TVs, G-Syncs cannot be re-enabled through the NVIDIA control panel and digital vibrance is reset when monitor goes to sleep. All these issues have been fixed. And as is the case with any graphics card driver release, what this driver fixes has an opposite in the shape of what this driver lets broken. An issue with Sonic and All-Star Racing Transforms, which will cause the game to crash when players are required to drive through water, and in Grid Legends, artifacts might appear in the background on some RTX 3 series graphics cards. And these are just two of the issues that are still present with this driver release. I'd mention the others, but honestly, it's a waste of time for a simple video like this. In other news, as I always do, this driver is already installed on my NVIDIA-based system and it all is good in the world. Fortunately, nothing got broken in the process, but I can't say anything about improvements in performance either. We continue with Jones Bow and their new Air CPU cooler series, the HX6240. This CPU cooler is available in two color variants, all black and or white. It features a single 120mm fan at the front for the airflow and no less than 6 copper made heat pipes. The cooler has a weight of 1045 grams and a height of just 162mm with a depth of 105mm. The HX6240 is a difficult name, however the CPU cooler has all the signs that it will be a good choice. First, the base plate is made from solid nickel plated copper and this will ensure an optimal contact with the CPU surface. In addition, the heat dissipation is done by thick aluminum made cooling fins and the heat sink can accommodate up to two 120mm fans in a push-pull configuration. One good feature found on the CPU cooler is the top metal plate which is removable and it is in fact attached to the heat sink with just magnets. The purpose of making this top plate removable is that with it removed, the cooler is 5mm shorter and thus it can fit in smaller cases. The 120mm fan used with this CPU cooler has a maximum speed of 1800 rpm and uses a fluid dynamic bearing system. Unfortunately, the pricing for this CPU cooler is not yet known. Next, we have Cooler Master and the new HAF 700 EVO case. This case is advertised as a mid-tower, but it's way bigger than that. Not only is this case big, but it is heavy at around 20 kilograms. The HAF case series has always been about high airflow and performance, and this new high-end model is no exception. For fans, this case has plenty already installed, two 120m fans at the rear, yes two, not the usual one, but two. Then at the front it has two 200mm fans and on the bottom it has a single 120mm fan. However, the support for more fans is extensive. Up top you can install no less than two 200mm fans or three 140mm fans or six 120mm fans. For radiators, you can install up to a 420mm radiator at the front or two 360mm radiators. It's the same situation for the bottom and top panels of the case. However, on the side radiator mount, you can install either a 480mm radiator or a 420mm radiator. Other features of this case include tempered glass side panels and plenty of RGB up front. In addition to the RGB, this case has a small LCD display which is used to showcase all the important information of the system. The pricing of the HAF 700 EVO is what you'd expect, and then double. This case will cost you no less than 700 US dollars, give or take based on whatever currency you are using. 
And finally, Corsair has a new mid-tower case, the 5000T RGB. This new model is made to compete with the high-end offerings from other manufacturers and it has the usual features that are required these days. RGB LEDs everywhere, tempered glass side panels and plenty of pre-installed fans. Fortunately, the 5000T RGB has mesh front and top panels which will increase the airflow inside the system and not block the installed fans. In addition to that, the case is available in two colors, black or white. The case can accommodate up to 10 120mm fans and radiators with a size of up to 360mm. For graphics cards, you can install a graphics card with a length of 400mm and CPU coolers with a height of 170mm. Unfortunately, the pricing is debatable but one thing we can know for sure is that this thing will not be cheap at all. And this is the end of the episode number 73 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.